In our previous video, I showed you how you can set up a Linux server using a Raspberry Pi. But what does it serve? Well, you can configure your Raspberry Pi to act as an FTP server, use it to store a variety of data, configure it as a mail server, host a website on it to serve it on the internet, run virtual machines or even act as a proxy. But in this video, I will guide you on how you can configure your Raspberry Pi as an FTP server using Samba. Samba uses the SMB networking protocol which allows the files and print sharing between different type of computers. Last time we connected to our Raspberry Pi server with SSH via terminal. But in today's video, we will be using an SSH client to connect to our Raspberry Pi. SSH clients allows you to connect to your remote machines or your remote servers across the network in a secure and authenticated manner. So let's connect to our Pi. SSH Ubuntu fourteen. Type your password. Again. Okay, now we are connected to our Raspberry Pi server. Now we are going to go ahead and install Samba. All right, now we're going to wait for the installation to finish. Okay, now that Samba has been installed, we're going to verify its installation. Type is where is Samba. And there it is. Now we're going to make a directory to share. All right, go ahead and make the home Ubuntu. We're going to name it Fat by SMB. List uh, there it is Fat by SMB. Now, how do we tell Samba to start sharing this folder? We're going to edit the Samba configuration file. Go ahead and type sudo nano. This is Samba SMB dot conf. Okay, this is the Samba configuration file. Go ahead, scroll down to the bottom, and we're going to add our share that fat by Samba. Okay, now to add a comment. Mm, samba on a pi go ahead and tell the configuration file the path of your folder which is home ubuntu uh, be careful of spelling mistakes home ubuntu and fat by smb read only no browsable yes uh, <clears throat> what read only does it gives permission to modify the content of the share folder and it is only granted when the directive value is no browsable when set to yes uh, file managers such as ubuntu's file manager will list this share under the network section all right now go ahead and save the configuration file by hitting Control o and enter the control x okay now all that is done now we're going to restart the samba service BD restart and now we're going to go ahead and update the firewall rules to allow samba traffic so sudo fw allow samba okay now how do we connect to our pi share if you're on linux open up your file manager on the left hand side go to other locations and you can see at the bottom uh, connect to server <clears throat> now go ahead and enter when you're um, connecting to an smb share always remember that you need to type smb so you tell the computer that we're connecting to a samba share all right go ahead and type the ip address there it is there is uh <clears throat> go ahead and open it it's empty okay let's 
put a file there that my samba we're going to touch hello.txt we put a text file go ahead and hit f5 to refresh and there it is our hello.txt file which is stored on our raspberry pi and we are connected via smb now i'm going to tell you how you can connect your smb share on your pi with the mac and then followed by how you can connect to your pi share on a windows machine to allow your mac pc to connect to an smb share or other computers to connect to your macintosh pc you first need to enable smb on your mac now it's very straightforward first go to system preferences go on sharing and then you need to check this file sharing box over here and smb will be enabled and other computers on your network can find your computer at this address so you can share files or be a server to share files of it other computers on your network now the same thing on windows first you need to enable smb on windows to allow the smb traffic to flow through uh, to on windows go to control panel programs turn windows features on and off scroll down and here you can see you need to check this box of smb 1.0 and then hit ok and smb will be enabled and this will allow and this will tell windows to allow uh, smb traffic to flow through your network now we are on our mac os to connect to your smb share if you have a <coughs> mac operating system it's really easy you need to make sure that the finder over here is selected the finder is the mac os's file manager so make sure finder over here is selected then click on go go to connect to server and <clears throat> it is at the same as we did in linux type smb followed by the pi's ip address 10.14 go ahead and connect you're attempting to connect yes we are attempting to connect now we are registered go ahead and connect okay Here we go. <clears throat> Select the volume you want to mount. There it is. We are connected to our Pi server, and there is the hello.txt file, which is empty. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how you can connect. Let's move over to Windows. Let me show you how you can connect to a Pi server with Windows. Okay. On Windows, go ahead and open File Explorer left click and click on add a network location next choose a custom next okay now type in the IP address of the Pi 10.14 and the name of the share which was fat pi samba next next there it is okay enter your credentials voila now we are connected to our raspberry pi server on a windows desktop and that's it that's how you set up and configure a samba share on your network and then connect all your computers to that share if you learn something new and if you like the video Please consider subscribing to the channel, hit that bell notification, leave, leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one.